we're in Dubai, it's uh, it's the first map of the game, and uh, actually there's a big sunset, and the sun has a big, big, big uh, importance in that map, and actually it reflects back to uh, uh, to human revolution because this new game goes into a different direction as uh, uh, compared to human revolution, like. Last game, it was the golden age. It was all about augmentations being uh, being there for a bright future for people who need that or whatsoever. And now you're uh, in mankind divided, where uh, things are going sour. And basically, uh, now we're going into the sea. We're referring back to the Icarus uh, myth that was very uh, dominant in the last game. And mm -hmm. now it's kind of the end of that chapter before we launch into something else. Yeah, basically he's. Um, what's happening to him is a bit, little bit what happened to Icarus, right? It's like he, he burnt his wings on the, on the sun and, you know, the wax melt and he melted and he's falling to, uh, well, Icarus fell to his death. But it's an analogy. Mm -hmm. Adam's done Icarus. <laughs> and, and actually, I think the setting of Dubai in our game is setting it too, because Dubai, being one of the richest cities of the world, had, had such a bright future ahead of it, but they embraced the mechanical augmentation as well. And when the AUG incident hit, it really devastated the city when all those people kind of went out of control. And they're still recovering too. So there's a lot of symbolism in this. Everything yeah. from Jensen dropping out of the plane to Dubai, to the Dubai, the location itself, um, and it all ties right back into that whole Icarus myth of reaching for the sun too soon. 